Hey, I'm Richie and I'm showing you how you can use the new number generator in Fortnite Creative. But before we start, I show you a couple of examples of what you can actually build with the RNG. So now that you got a basic understanding of what the number generator can do, I show you how you can set it up. First of all, the number generator plate can be triggered by any movement of any player. So that means jumping, running over it and all that kind of stuff. Or you can activate it via channels. For example, you could set up a button and then activate it with that button. You can generate outputs through channels or you can use the zone function, which kind of works like the music sequencer. If you want to use the zone function, make sure that you're using triggers, otherwise you won't get any outputs. Starting in, we have the value limits. These are the most important numbers in the whole thing. You can think of them as a dice. Whatever you set them to determines the sides your dice is going to have. The winning value is only important if you want to set an output to the on win or on lose setting. The result multiplier, the award score, score type and score value are all working together. These are only important if you want to use a score system in your random number generator. For example, if you want to have one point for rolling a one or something, then you can set it up in here. The roll time and the reset delay are pretty self-explanatory. The zone, as I already said, only works if you're using something that can signal through movement. Same thing as with the music sequencer. You need to have triggers or some kind in the future stuff that can you know, send some kind of signal through movement that this block is going to create. You can set the size of the zone in the three options below and that is the exact same thing as with the music sequencer. The zone generates different blocks which randomly toggle depending on the setting you set above. If you want to have a signal from the zone, you have to place a transmitter in these blocks and they will only be activated if the roll is finished. So you might see the block moving around, but it's actually not doing anything, it's just a visual thing. The next seven options are all options we already know from other devices, so they don't need any explanations. The activate when receiving is obviously your starting button, so you can set it up to any channel, uh, but you need to have something that can trigger that channel so you can activate the randomizer. Cancel when receiving is only important if you have set a roll time and you want to stop that roll time. On win and on lose, as already mentioned, is only important if you have a winning value. If you get a win, you can transmit a signal through the win option, and if you get everything else, then obviously you will get a lose uh, output from that uh, channel. And the last two options are transmitting a signal when you roll the min or max number that you set in the values uh, on the very beginning. And that is basically it. If you have still any questions or if you want to have a tutorial about these you know, starting uh, things that I showed you, then please let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, also see you guys hopefully in my next video. Bye.